The curry was too hot for stream. Damn. Okay, we're still dipping. We're still dipping into red, but... Mm, hopefully it's okay. Let me know. I'm just sitting in red now. It's actually like worse somehow. It's more fun to watch a robot cook. The audio doesn't break up, so it's perfect. Okay. Sorry, guys. If anybody comes in and asks about it, just let them know. Um, and hopefully it'll fix itself and we'll be fine. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh-oh. I was supposed to have two cans of coconut milk. So, um, if I can get some... Some Duke woes in chat to pray for my journey to the pantry. That maybe we have some more coconut milk. Oh, we did. Oh. Oh, we did. Thank God. Okay. Coconut milk. Another recipe that's on um, a website that I love called Budget Bites. They actually have an app, which is kind of nice. <laughs> um, but uh, Budget Bites has a, a recipe that I've tweeted out before that's like a, a Thai curry soup. Um, and it has a lot of these same things in it, except not butternut squash. It has um, sweet potato... And then it's intended to be like a soup, so it's got like glass noodles and stuff in it. Um, but it's very good as well. So if you try this and you're like, yo, I want more shit that tastes like this, maybe uh, check out the Thai soup, the Thai curry soup that's on Budget Bites. Because it's delightful. Hi, Sherlock. Can I say hi? These are my big boy. <laughs> There's a lot of food here. None of it you can eat. I'm sorry, bud. Okay, the tail's tail's going. Here you go. Back down. Thank you for saying hi. Okay. And then it was a tablespoon of peanut butter. Tablespoon fish sauce, tablespoon of peanut butter, and then one to two cups of veggie broth, which is like half of this container, I think. Okay, tablespoon. Where the fuck did all my other spoons go? I'm like missing a bunch of spoons and cups, like measuring cups and measuring spoons. I know I said I love it, but fish sauce smells awful. <laughs> it does not smell good. But for some reason, it's delicious in things. Whenever I'm like, oh, mommy, you gotta try this recipe. If she sees fish sauce in the list of things in the recipe, she's like, oh, that's the stuff that smells like feet. <laughs> I'm like, yes, it is. But it's very good. 
I promise. If you grow up with it, you start to like the smell. I'm sure that's true. There are lots of things where I think to myself, like, I cannot imagine liking this. But I also didn't grow up with it. So, yeah. Um, blood sausage is one of those things. Like blood pudding. Not my thing. Not my thing. Not a fan. But both Sam and my friend Jeannie grew up eating it. Um, Jeannie is uh, from a Korean family and they ate it a lot and they ate it a lot in England. So for both of them, they're like, no, blood sausage is the fucking bomb. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm good. I don't need that in my life. I'm all right. Okay. And the breath. I can start putting things away. Hold on. Let's start clearing space. Um, that's the kale. This can go back in here. I may get things out of the way once you're done using them, sort of cooking person. <laughs> Um, broth, Jesus. Um, I assume I should mix all that up. Combine together. Curry paste, coconut milk, broth, fish sauce, peanut butter. I already fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to put a cup of broth in there. And then potentially add more broth if it seemed like it needed to be thinned. So here we are. At our first big fuck up of the night. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> That's okay. Whatever. We'll make do. We'll make it work. Okay. All right. Combine. I feel like I need a whisk. Then add butternut squash, cinnamon, ginger, and lime. Season with salt and pepper. Cover. Cook on high pressure eight minutes. Okay. Okay. I can do that. Okay. Butternut squash, the cinnamon, right. Ginger, lime juice. Ginger. Here, might as well just grab this extra paste. Why not? Lime juice. I didn't do the lime. Cinnamon.
Holy spices. <laughs> yeah, man. There are like, there's like a short list of spices that I use a lot. Um, and then everything else is like, well, I'll eventually use it. I know that you're supposed to like not keep spices for a certain length of time. Like there's a, there's a point at which you're supposed to get a new version of that spice. My dad exclusively uses Italian seasoning. I like it. <laughs> Who does that though? But they're dried. I know. I also don't do that. I wonder if it's like, if it, much like with the peeling thing we were talking about earlier. I wonder if it's a certain spices should maybe be rotated out sort of thing. I have a lot of spices I don't use much like cloves. Yeah, dude. Pretty much anything that would like go in a pumpkin pie. Do not use that much. <laughs> um, I use a lot of cinnamon when dehydrating. But I don't use nutmeg super often. And if I do, it's like a pinch, right? All spice is always like use a pinch, the tiniest little baby pinch. Of all spice, if ever you have a recipe and it's like, use a pinch of allspice, and you're like, oh, I should go buy some allspice, get whatever the smallest size allspice is <laughs> you can, <laughs> because uh, probably you're not going to run into many recipes that want you to use much of that at all. My mom accidentally snorted allspice one time. It's a weird thing to read. <laughs> okay. You know what? You know what? I think it's gonna work out fine that we use that much broth. You know why? Because it barely covers the butternut squash. <laughs> so, because we used an overabundance of butternut squash and we used like maybe a little too much curry paste, I think it actually might be fine. Right, salt and pepper. Uh, where's my pips? Where my pups at? Sweet pepper. Last time I used it was over there, but I don't see it over there. God, if only I had a mortar and pestle. I have I have whole black peppercorns that I could just like crush, I guess, but Somebody is mowing their lawn right now. Amazing. Use a Ziploc bag and a rolling pin? I don't have a rolling pin either. I am not a baker. <laughs> I do not bake. Although, I do have a hammer. <laughs> I feel like that's probably not the right direction to go though. I don't think this is like where we need to be. <laughs> tonight. I know that I, my, there's pepper somewhere in this house. I just used it. Double check in here again. Oh, bitch.
Okay. Some peps. Salt. For anybody who's superstitious. Which shoulder is it? family does that. <laughs> I did it over my left shoulder, which I think is correct, but <clears throat> okay. Cover. And then put it on. Great. Didn't start again. This was a mistake. All these little, all these little butternut squash bits are getting in the way of this. <laughs> Get out of there. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna close this boy. Turn it on. And we're gonna hit manual. Eight minutes. Great. Um, so now that will build up pressure, however long that takes, that'll build up pressure and then we'll have eight minutes of actual like pressurized cook time. So it might be like 20-ish minutes. Uh, we're going to quick release it. So the second that the eight minutes is done, we release the pressure. Then we set it to saute, we strain the kale and the cilantro. If the curry's too thick, add some broth. Um, <laughs> and then we also need to make the egg noodles, but that can wait. Um, so, uh, I think that this is a perfect time to do a little break. If you guys wanna go pee or anything, feel free. And I'm just going to do a few dishes real fast. So yeah. Dish time. Let's break. And move my hammer because we don't need it. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> During this break. Hold on. I really want to see if I can. Oh. Oh, oh no. That's gonna drive somebody crazy. There we go. Um, text. There we go, yay! Should I turn the music up too? Okay. Music's up.
like stretches out, you know? You see how it still just says on? It hasn't built up pressure yet. So we're still waiting for it to pressurize.
One of his uh, Moemon die. Cool idea. Yeah! I had never thought of like doing like a like a monthly box with Patreon before. But it's like pretty smart. To say like here are the tiers. Regardless, you'll get something in the mail every month. But whatever tier you choose decides what kind of thing you get, right? It's interesting. Off to bed. Oh, day four of new job. Oh, congrats. Yeah, get some sleep. Enjoy your job. It sounds like a lot to mail. I mean, I don't think that, I don't think that it's like super big yet. Fingers crossed for him. Um, I don't think that it's super big. My question is, can you just buy a shirt if you just want one shirt? Uh, I don't know if he like puts them up anywhere. I think it's it's like exclusive to this thing. Um, so I'm not sure. But like the one last month, if you've seen me wear a shirt that has like a giant moth on it, that was the one from last month, and I actually really love that one. And then. Um, yeah, this one, this one was really cool too. The, the shirt was different though. Like the fit of this shirt is different from the other weeks, which I think is weird. Okay, let's rinse these. water in there you can kind of see if there's anything if there's any other um like big bits of the squash that's still kind of like hiding it'll typically like float independent of the seeds so you can just pick it out then i actually haven't roasted seeds in forever Let me know if that's too low for the music. I made peach milk while I was watching you prep for the curry. What is peach milk? I don't think I've ever had that. I don't even know what it is. I'm definitely out of focus. I don't trust you guys. I'm definitely out of focus. Also, this needs to come up a little bit, I think. Let's 
see how that is. Do you think that's a little better? I don't know. What green eyes you have. All the better to see you with, my dear. Oh, they're all upstairs. Be right back. Good job, everybody! Yay! Well done, us. Camera is crooked. True that! But, like, should it be more like that? Oh, she floats now. She floats now. Is that better? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Let's pat this dry. Just turn the sink on to hush us up. I don't know what that means. Why would I want to hush you up? Wow, these do not like my rags. They don't like my rags. <laughs> Who knew seeds could be so wet? Let's <laughs> try not to make it weird, but it's too late. Uh, okay. We really need to get some water going for the egg noodles as well. Should have done that earlier. this out a little bit. <laughs> uh, 
And then we're popping it. Ready? Oh, that smells so good. Mm. Yeah, that's my shit. Oh, show. Oh my god, that smells amazing. <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. It's a lot more steam than I would have ever thought. Yeah, man, it's still it's still going. Um, if it wasn't directly under cupboards, <laughs> I would have just let it go so you could see what it's, what it's really like, <laughs> but alas, these aren't my cupboards, so <laughs> that was a little too much oil, but that's fine. No, mine isn't the biggest one. It's not. Everything just looks bigger next to me is all that I can <laughs> assume. Tempted? No, I'm not going to. I was gonna say that I'm really tempted because the curry has cinnamon in it to put a little bit of cinnamon on the seeds, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna let them sing by themselves. It's fine. so good. <laughs> um, let's take a little bit out and try it. Before we like add in other stuff. Um, I'm going to need to find the the cinnamon stick anyway. Where are you bud? There you are. Let's not with you. So, ah, you can't really see it. That's how the butternut squash looks. And the broth is like the same color, basically.
Hell yeah. That's so good. The butternut squash is like fall apart in your mouth perfect. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. So pop that on saute. That's boiling. Add some kettle water. It's just faster. <laughs> if you have a kettle, just put a little bit of water and you need like a bunch of water boiling, just put a little bit of water in the pan. Get it boiling and then heat the rest of the water up in your kettle and it will, you'll get it all like to the right temperature so much faster. Oh my God, that's so good. I'm so excited. I do think it's gonna be more of a soup though. Kyoto animation burnt down? What? Whoa, that's crazy. It was, oh my God. They like actually were attacked. Really? That's crazy. Yeah. I'll look that up later. That's insane. That's crazy, really. Man. Yeah, apparently, apparently people died in it, is what people were saying. Yeah, that's. That's normally what I would do, is like mash up some of it, but I don't know, since I have to put it on saute to cook the kale anyway, anyway I'm kind of like, mm, I'll just saute it and, um, sorry, I'm distracted now. Uh, I'll just saute it for a bit and it'll, it'll naturally just thicken up. you supposed to go? I guess I can look after I've dumped it in. Okay. It's almost all of it, man. No, it's not worth it. <laughs> I was gonna heat up some more water, but it's not worth it. Eight or nine minutes. Okay. Okay. We gotta get the kale going. Done with those. Done with you. Done with you, I think. I wanted 
have it shredded. I think I'm just gonna chop it though. Keep an eye on the clock for this. Sick tats. Oh, thank you. Assuming you're talking about mine. <laughs> and I'm not just stealing thunder from someone else. prefer like massaged kale but it's fine. like it can just it can turn out it can be so harsh you know like I don't like kale salads very much not because of the taste but just like the texture of it is so harsh half the time We don't want it to just like disappear. Okay, so that's in there cooking. That won't take long to wilt. And then it also called for cilantro, which I have some of. cilantro a quarter cup which is like maybe that much yeah oh smells so good I think that's supposed to go right in there again double checking just in case roughly chopped Stir in kale. Wait until it's wilted, then stir in the cilantro. Okay. And if the curry's too thick, which is not our problem, so I'm not gonna keep reading that. <laughs> not our problem. Not too thick. These actually feel pretty soft already, but there's no way they're done. There's no way you're done. We just ain't no way. It's not very thick. It's like pretty watery. But I really don't want to, I don't want to overcook the squash. So I'm wondering if I should just add a thickening agent.
to use the pasta water, it'll thicken it. But that'll add more water. Beans in an instant pot. So the one time I've tried to like cook beans from nothing in the instant pot, um, it did not turn out good at all. And I was really sad. I love black beans. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have a bunch of like black beans in here. And here meaning my pantry. A bunch of black beans in the pantry. I'll just like, um, cook them in the instant pot and they cooked way too long yeah I would use cornstarch too I think I'll save a little pasta water but No, I'm not sure. Seed a seed. Make a slurry. That's what my nephew normally does. He like takes a jar and then puts water and flour or cornstarch into it and like shakes it really vigorously before he adds it to something. Okay. What if <laughs> I added the cornstarch to the pasta water That works. Here we go, here we go. Satellite radio. Y'all get hit with the boom, boom. Okay, wait, but I want I need a jar that can close. That one has shit in it. Bring the lid. for Weigel Mouse. I don't think this will work. For what I was thinking. Fuck it. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Cold 
water. Has to be cold water. Just a sec. Okay. And then just an itty bitty bit. That much? Use more. I'll add just a little more because y'all aren't sure. Okay, fuck it. That's it. the flavor is great so I'm not really worried about it but this way hopefully with the like some of the butternut squash breaking down and also a little bit of this it'll it'll thicken it up good for us It is very similar to the the budget bites soup. Very similar. So um, if you wanted something with that was like definitely supposed to be a soup, <laughs> um, I would say try that because it's it you don't need anything but like one pot for it. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you my shirt. Hold on, I gotta adjust my shit. <laughs> yeah, so this is the shirt. You can't like see it super well. It was pretty cool. It's got another moth on it, which I'm a, a fan of. Right, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I honestly, I think that like each design that he does is getting like better, honestly. There was way more going on than I expected. Yeah, it's good. Okay, let's see. How we look in here? I think this is gonna be freaking delicious. Freaking fats. Love Halloween. <laughs> Okay. Let's 
dish up a couple bowls then. Make a bowl for Sam. Um, guess I'll use separate spoons. I'll scooch everything over so that you can see. Okay, so we've got the nudes, curries in there, and we've got we've got our seeds. I think I'll put the seeds on mine, but not on Sam's. I don't think that he's gonna go for that. Okay, so bed of egg noodles. Then, some of this. Yeah, the squash is like really breaking down now. So if you can like avoid cooking it as long as I did, like letting it boil as long as I did, I would recommend that. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna put some seeds on mine. It's pretty. It's pretty with the seeds. For whatever that's worth. <laughs> Because I don't think I've ever had a curry where they were like, hey, put this on top of egg noodles, but I fucking love egg noodles. So I was, I was in, big in. Okay, let's get a bite with a little bit of everything. Mmm. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Look, we had a couple little oopsies, but they were really minor oopsies. Sam says he's hungry. All right. Originally, when he was like, oh, you're making a curry. And I was like, yeah, it's a vegetable curry. He was like, all right. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad he liked it. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm good. Green stuff is pale. Mm. 
There's kale and cilantro in it. And it tells you, um, it recommends either cilantro or basil. Um, I know that somebody was planning on watching and wanted to put spinach in instead of kale. Um, so if you did that, I would be curious to know how that was. Yeah, I was saying earlier when we were chopping up the kale that um, I'm normally not, not a big kale fan. I don't like how harsh it is, like texture-wise. It's fine in this. It's great. Hmm. Yeah, the kale wilted really well. So that's, see, I'm like, I'm torn. Because we, we boiled it for a long time to try and thicken it, right? Which made the butternut squash break down quite a bit. I don't think necessarily too much, just like right on the edge. I would have liked it a little bit firmer still. Um, but... The kale is very soft, which I like. So. Hey, Sherlock. Hmm. Yeah, this was a win. This was a win for sure. Um, if you do exclamation point recipe, there's a link to the recipe. And uh, if this sounds like something you'd like, I, I think it's great. And they have um, slow cooker instructions as well as instant pot instructions. So if you don't have an instant pot, fortunately I did. So this wasn't like a 10 hour stream. <laughs> but if you don't have a, a pressure cooker and you'd like to do it in the slow cooker, I'm sure that's also delicious. Do you recommend putting in the extra broth? Mm. I think that, no, because I was like trying desperately to thicken it at the end there. Um, I think it's it would be much easier to just add a little bit of broth if you need it to be thinner instead of making yourself do the opposite. So I would say follow the instructions. <laughs> Don't be me. And just be like, it says two cups of broth. I'm sure it wants all of it. Hi, Mandy. Yeah. Yeah, it's curry on top of egg noodles. Very weird, but delicious. <laughs> so I added cornstarch. Um, I don't think it did much, but it's fine. I think, like, the little bit of cornstarch and some of the butternut squash breaking down. So, like, there are a lot of recipes that you'll find, like, for veggie soups, where if you want it to be thicker, like a chowder, if you want, like, a thick chowder, um, they'll say take like half of the soup and blend it. Or if you have like an immersion blender, like blend some of it up and it'll add like natural thickness to it. Um, which has always worked great, IMO. But in this situation I was like, but I want like those big chunks of butternut squash everywhere, you know? So I was hesitant to just be like, fuck it, I'm blending. <laughs> Yeah, when we poured the cornstarch in, it was still perking. It wasn't full boiling because I didn't, again, I was like so worried about the squash. I was like, it looks like it's dying. There have been like some 
broccoli soups and some zucchini soups and stuff where it's all entirely blended that have been delicious. Um, and I don't think I would have chosen those things for myself because I love like really chunky chilies and stuff. But... <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's really good, y'all. How is it? It's delicious. It's so good. It's very good. Um, I was saying it's really similar to another recipe that Sam and I have made a few times um, on a website called Budget Bites that I believe is called Thai Curry Soup. Um, Budget Bites just in general is like a really nice site for, you know, simple, cheap things to make. But, um, yeah, that soup is really good. And the flavor profiles are really similar. Thai curry vegetable soup, is that it? Since you linked it, click that and see if it's the same, if it's the right thing. That is it. Yeah, delicious. It makes me wonder if this would benefit from like some red onion in it. But I don't think so. I don't think I want that bite. It's got like a very comforting feel. And the red onion in that soup specifically um, is very like pow, you know? Rendang. I don't think so. I don't think so, no. I love curry though. I'm down to try pretty much anything. Yeah, I'm like curbing the urge to make this spicier. It doesn't need it. <laughs> We made a thing. It's delicious. Well done, us. Um, you guys seem to love the cooking streams, which is awesome. That's delightful for me. Um, because I like doing them. They're very chill for me. So, um, what kind of things should we like try to do next? Cake? Oh gosh, we could try to do a like a baking thing or like a dessert thing. I am fucking terrible at them. So I'm down. If you want to see that disaster, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Crepes? You know what's funny is on pancake day, because in England, um, the pancakes that they make are basically crepes. Sorry, English viewers. Um... <laughs> So on pancake day, when Sam gets really homesick, we make crepes here. <laughs> and I keep seeing, there was, there's one thing that I keep seeing online and I keep thinking, oh man, next pancake day, I gotta try this, where somebody takes an upside down pan and dips it into the batter and cooks it this way. <laughs> so weird. I want to try it so bad. They're not basically crepes, they just are. I'm just trying not to offend people in my chat. <laughs> um, cool. I'm gonna read off the event list and then I'm gonna go have a second helping and chill and eat my dinner. But this was great. I'm so happy that we did this. Um, let me angle this a little more this way, because I keep, like, drifting over here and realizing, oh, I'm 
falling off the edge of the camera. Okay. Why is it so wet there? How weird. Okay, stew recipe. Thank you for the reminder. I will find the stew recipe and I will tweet it. Um, okay. I'm gonna read this off and then I'm gonna send you to my sweet love. Who liked our curry? Yay, I'm so happy. Lots of stuff happened tonight. Thank you guys so much for all the support. It's very sweet. <clears throat> Da, da, da. There we go. I found it. <laughs> um, Clash, thank you so much for the 16 months. Nada Weasley, thank you for the 26. Kevlar Giraffe for the 16. Ryan 08 STI for the 44. Venna for the 17. Soul Edgar for the 47. Tom Servo for the 34. Insane, thank you very much for the biddies. Amma for the 45 months. Uh, let's see. W Tile, thank you so much for the 23. Obsidian Jeff for the 10. Gleam Eyes for the 30. Oh, thank you. I'm very glad. Horrid Blade, thank you for the 31. Galoom, thank you for the 26. Cat Hopes, thank you for the 7. Turnip Head for the 11. Zyox for the 37. Omzi for the 11. Um, Pabira Ziga, thank you so much for the 16. 10th Muse for the 4. Um, Thorfinn, thank you very much for the three years, dude. Happy anniversary. I feel like we don't get to see you super often, but I appreciate that you still pop in. <laughs> um, Big Sizzle, thank you for the 34. Eagle Fang, thank you for the 33. J Money for the 11. Button Lynn for the 13. El Zilko, thank you for the 11. Yorick the Skull for the 4. Lord Nova for the 20. Sanic, thank you for the 51. Um, Hosmosh for the 20. Uh, whenever you share recipes, they sound so yummy. Is there a style of food that you have trouble with? Yeah, desserts. I'm not, I'm not like a dessert person. I don't eat a lot of desserts. So I haven't, I haven't had the urge to like make a bunch of cookies or make cake or make pie, really. Like the times that I've tried to do those, they've been terrible. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, Miss Random Badger. Thank you for the 21. Bjarni for the 28. Real Al Gamer for the 28 as well. Wonderland Spy for the 4. Emojo Jojo for the 60. Happy five years. Thank you so much, Emojo Jojo. I hope you're having a lovely day. Tyreal Stratus, thank you for the two years. Happy anniversary to you as well. Thank you so much. Jevons, thank you for the 4. Willard Mittens for the 34. Chim Dogi for the 5. Tomlinson for the 59. Stabby Dabby, thank you for the seven. Ivy Fox and Hunter, thank you both so much for the biddies. Um, Bo Yotis, thank you for the 11. Lily, thank you so much for hosting. Um, Exo Scout for the 53. Joy was taken for the 15. Real Sano for the 37. Oven Fried Rice for the two years. Happy anniversary. Phoenix Gaming, thank you for the 11. Lil Kato with the blue hair, thank you for the 17. Try Sarah Bottom the third. Thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome to the Cat Gang. Dr. Toad, thank you for the one year. Happy anniversary. Rimsky, thank you very much for subscribing as well. Thanks for the primes from both of you new subs. Mikai, thank you for the 34. SRC for the 62. Shifty Monk for the 33. Fratter Zero for the nine. Happy Twitch baby. Green Gorilla King for the nine as well. Happy Twitch baby. Two babs in a row. Rory K Mayhem, thank you for the six. Rosin for the 25. Tennessee Bob for the 33. Um, Whiskey for the 46. R Dark, thank you for the 35. Um, Ayame Dude, thank you for the 21. Dark, uh, Dark Akane chan, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the Cat Gang. Brian Want Brains, thank you for subscribing. Faye Bell for the 15. Ocalis for the 6. Airstream for the 6 as well. Mrs. Cloud Lion for the 15. Karmic Guide for the 1 year happy anniversary. Um, PC Vikings, thank you so much for the four months. Jocelyn for the eight. Arquin for the three. Can't take you anywhere, not even your own kitchen. What the fuck? 
<laughs> Unbelievable. Poolge, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the cat gang. Gynax for the 19, Murk Cook for the 21, Jam and Cam, thank you for the one year. Happy anniversary. Raijin Gami for the eight. Quick Draw Kid for the 23, White Lily for the 22, Kaya Raz for the 13, Raven Blade for the 62, Rookie Burns for the 16, Daisy Melon for subscribing. Welcome to the Cat Gang. Thank you very much. Emma Rogue, thank you for the 3, Uberfish for the 31, Hey Daru, thank you for the 38, Evie May for the 37, um, Sandwich Man for the 31, Zykenjorn for the 2 years. Happy anniversary. Empty Juice Box for the 11, Leaf Shino for the 2. Um, and Anonymous Cheerer, thank you so much for the bitties. Austix, thank you for the 54. Half Pint Hatter for the two years. Happy anniversary to you as well. Marthew, thank you so much for the five. Uh, Daniel Dawn Caller, thank you for the 53. And there we are. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. I hope you all had fun. I hope you're having a great day. Let's go ahead and ugh, raid my husbando. Sorry to not be super here these days, I wanna. Oh no, don't worry about it. No, 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 no. Don't even worry about it. Like I said, it's a it's a delight to see you. The the people that pop in and out. I'm never I'm never upset. <laughs> Real life comes first. Alright. We're gonna raid Sam. Um, have a lovely night. I'll see you guys next time. Okay? Uh I only have a BRB, so this is a lie, but you're all great. Bye!